I'm Angela Baki and welcome to the Celebs.com 2 Minute Snippet. Everything you need to know in just a couple of ticks of the clock. It has been a tough week for Celebs.com, avoiding the slime of the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards and ugh, having to hang out with Pamela Anderson to talk with her about her new racing team and internet business venture FrogAds.com. Then, sacrificing ourselves to hang by the pool at the Thompson Hotel in LA with a couple of Victoria's Secret Angels, South African Candace Swanepoel and Aussie Miranda Kerr. By the way guys, their tips for wooing an angel? Just be yourself, that's all, just be yourself. Now of course, Orlando Bloom was very much himself with Miranda Kerr and their son Flynn, who is now 14 months old. Still, have you seen her post-baby bikini body? So very unfair, just gorgeous. In movie news, Mirror Mirror was released into theaters this past weekend, starring Lily Collins, who's the daughter of Feel It In The Air Tonight singer Phil Collins, best drum solo ever. And Julia Roberts opposite the social network's Winklevoss twins, yes, he played both of them, Army Hammer. Also in theaters, a blast from the past, Titanic in 3D. Check out what Kate Winslet had to say at the red carpet premiere in London. And more importantly, what co-star Billy Zane looks like these days. We're entertained these days by, you know, very strange things, you know, a lot of violence or kind of um, laughing at other people's misfortunes by way of, you know, real life soap operas and so on, you know, and, and, and something like Titanic, which is as genuine as it is in terms of that love story, you know, I think it will always capture people's hearts. It's kind of a timeless classic, really. In the latest casting news, what everyone thought was an April Fool's Day joke ended up as real news. Ashton Kutcher, who plays an internet mogul on Two and a Half Men and is a real-life investor in Foursquare, as well as the guy who racked up one million Twitter followers speedier than any of his contemporaries, will portray Apple founder and all-around eye genius Steve Jobs in a biopic called, well, Jobs. What do you think? Is that a good casting decision or will audiences revolt? Who would you rather see? Spider-Man's Andrew Garfield? Perhaps 50-50 and G.I. Joe's Joseph Gordon-Levitt? Let us know. And now on to who won the week. There is no doubt we are going to be hearing about the Hunger Games for at least the next few years. But it's really the film star Jennifer Lawrence, who's received an Oscar nomination for Winter's Bone a couple of years ago, who is stealing the show. Reportedly paid what would have seemed like the fair amount of $500,000 for her role in the independent studio film, but now that the film's grossed over $250 million in just the first two weeks, and likely to take the crown for the third consecutive week over American Reunion and Mirror Mirror, the production people will be hitting their calculators to figure out just how much of a bonus is the right amount for the face of their franchise. As for what Lawrence will do with the money, this young starlet told Interview Magazine that she wants to bathe in a pool full of pasta. Now in LA, where carbohydrates are vilified, those are some fighting words. Pasta la vista, baby. So speaking of pools and baths and five-star hotels, I just came back from the Mandarin Oriental in Vegas where they treated me oh so right. You can read all about it on the site and check out my interviews with Guy Pierce and Maggie Grace for their film Lockout opening this month. Now there is plenty more on Celebs.com every single day. Pay us a visit so we can keep you in the know.